welcome back to my channel and today is a lovely day you want to know why because y'all this is one of my favorite dishes okay we are making the best copycat roscoe's chicken and waffles recipe for their waffles okay my husband and i go to cali every other year and roscoe's is the first stop on our trip okay this recipe is a labor of love and I, it, it is spot on. I got it from Monique Hey Girl. Monique, who runs a Divas Can Cook food blog, and I use her recipes all the time and I do not change a thing. I do as I'm told and it comes out perfect. So let's, this is my spread. This is what we had for breakfast this morning. And I'll add a link to the other recipes. We had creamy southern grits and an easy frittata, but the waffles is the start of the show. Okay, these waffles are so good. Let's go. So what I'm doing first is sifting one and three-fourth cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, and so this recipe is very particular. Okay, this is a labor of love, but it is worth every single step. Okay, and the quickest way to sift is obviously using this sifter, um, which I paid probably ten dollars um, and I got it from Amazon. And so I'll add the link in the description. But if you don't have one, there you go. A handheld old school sifter will do the same thing. Um, I am also adding in um, a tablespoon of baking powder, teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar. And just sift all of your dry ingredients together. Um, this does look like a lot of flour, but when, I, when I'm going through this much trouble, I am gonna double my recipe because the beautiful thing about this recipe and these waffles is they freeze beautifully, okay? So I am just now making a well in the middle of the flour mixture. And to that, I am gonna be adding my milk mixture, which is a combination of half a cup of buttermilk to two cups of milk. And then you will just pour that into the well that you made and stir that up and my apologies that's actually one cup of milk um, again I double my, my recipe but um, make sure you get that correct now I'm adding a fourth cup of vegetable oil two teaspoons of vanilla and two large egg yolks okay and then to the bottom left you'll see those are where the um, whites are we're going to use that later but just for the initial batter, you're gonna add in your egg yolks and then you're just gonna fold that in. Now I am adding in half a cup, half a stick of butter um, and just fold that in again. Um, this is going to be a textured recipe, so don't worry about the lumps. So set that off to the side and now I am just uh, beating the egg whites. So the purpose, and I think this is the key to the recipe, is the egg whites. Um, when you whip these up, it's going to create that fluffy and crispy texture that you're looking for. Um, you don't want a heavy, dense waffle. You want that light and fluffy and airy um, waffle, and this is what I feel is the key. And you're looking for stiff peaks. So when I tell you this is a labor love, I like to say it's a trade-off, okay? You're, I'm burning calories right now, and then I'm going to eat them up later on. But that's okay. It's all about balance, right? So again, I am just whipping these until I am getting the stiff peaks. And see, that's okay, but I'm going to keep going, okay? Because I want to make sure that they're firm enough so that my waffle um, comes out. Uh, fluffy and crispy so after I've whipped them I am just now folding in those egg whites so again do not use a whisk do not use a fork this is a folding method again that labor of love burning them calories but you going yeah, it's all about balance we're gonna eat these waffles and feel good about ourselves okay 
so fold them in again this batter is going to have texture so it you know don't worry about any types of lumps but what you're just trying to do is make sure that those egg whites are fully incorporated into your batter okay that's what it should look like right there Ooh, I'm ready to go so now I am heating up my waffle I use about a three and a half to a four on my waffle iron and this is a classic waffle iron okay this is not a Belgium so again we are doing a copycat of Roscoe's chicken and waffles waffle and so make sure that um, you're using that thin waffle iron which are um, available on Amazon that's where I got mine I will add a link to the description of where I got it but um, yeah it makes a difference um, just to achieve that Roscoe style waffle you want to get the thin classic kind um, but this recipe also goes well for a Belgium I've made Belgium waffles using this recipe and they're just as good but you know it's not Roscoe's okay so here you go look at that y'all golden crispy waffle and so I'm just putting it on my cooling rack and setting it aside um, I don't stack them right away um, because you don't want it to start getting soggy so um, I'll just keep making waffles um, and then I'll stick them into the oven just to get a little bit of crisp when we get ready to eat but as you can see, I'm pacing back and forth. I mean, patience is not my gift, okay? It smells so good in there, and I was ready to eat, okay? I was ready to bash. These waffles, I'm telling y'all, are so, so good. scooping batter and making your waffles in here y'all look at this aren't those beautiful come on now don't you just want to crawl in between those waffles and take a nap these these are spot on so good thank you monique um yeah please don't forget to click that like button also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that you can get first notice of when I post my new video if you're new to my channel welcome 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 and thank y'all for watching see you next time bye